Montclair. We're in the Kispiox Valley. The Kispiox Valley is, is in northern British Columbia. And it's uh, one of the tributaries of the Skeena River. And uh, the Skeena River is famous for its steelhead runs. And on the Kispiox, uh, say one of the tributaries of the Skeena, it's known for its large steelhead. So people from all over the world come here to fish. Here we're fishing for sea run fish, and uh, they get big, they get up to 40 pounds. So this is sort of more of a trophy type game, and that's what draws people here. It's really the size of stealing. Plus they fight a lot more, you gotta understand, than a five or six pound fish. So it, it, uh, it's exciting to catch a fish that big. Well, uh, this workshop I, I spend a lot of time in, and it's my uh, rod building shop. Some people would say a studio, but I'm going to call it a shop. But it's a, it's a fun place to work, and what I do is I make bamboo fishing rods. Bamboo fishing rods uh, were first made, say, 150 to 175 years ago. And uh, it, uh, at the time, they were the strongest, uh, the, the strongest type of rod. Before that, they had the solid wood rods that were made out of lance wood and green heart. But their biggest quality is feel, right? so you, when you catch a fish, they appear twice as big. Most, most bamboo rod builders sell to guys who are bamboo, what I call bamboo nuts, eh? Like they love fishing bamboo. Whereas I sell mostly to steelhead fishermen that have never fished bamboo and that are, uh, they want to try something different or sort of maybe, maybe more historical. Right? Uh, I just traveled across Canada up to the Gas Bay and came back through the nord northern United States and when I got home here I really realized, uh, you know, what a, what, what a treasure we really have here in the, in the Pacific Northwest up in the Skeena Valley. As you go through the states, every major river that you see there has been dammed for hydroelectric or for water for irrigation. They're short of water, and the water, they're dewatering the rivers all the time. And uh, that's good, it's good for the people, but it's really hard on the fish and the animals. So up here on Esquina, the river is undammed, um, and uh, we don't have the big drawback of water for irrigation. So everything pretty much runs wild and free, and it's, we're really fortunate yeah, you know, to be living in such a great area. It has these great runs of steelhead. I've fished this river for 40 years now, and uh, you know the fishing is, is just as good as it was 40 years ago. And you can't say that about many places left on this planet. Mm -hmm.